there are a lot of moms out there raising kids, running a house, and oh, they, they have a little gig on the side too called a full-time job. <laughs> Being a working mom sure is not easy, and it's really tough after a baby's born. Lauren Smith Brody calls it the fifth trimester, and it is also the title of the Claimer Magazine editor's new book that's out that I have so enjoyed reading. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. With a seven month of hold at home. Um, I was just laughing at this book. And my, my, I'm looking through it. I'm going the fifth trimester. Okay, that's what I meant. Wait, when does it end? Because <laughs> I feel like I'm still stuck in it. <laughs> I think it really depends. I think it's usually several months long. Um, mm -hmm. It really depends how much support you have at home and at work right. and how much you're willing to ask for. But it really depends. You know when you're on the other side of it, though. Yeah, there truly, though, is a where you almost just want to hit a panic button when it comes time to go back to work if you just had a baby. And there are a lot of steps that you say that there are things that you can do, little things, I mean even little things, that you can do that really will make a difference in um, how life is once you go back to work, right? Sure. A lot of it is about asking for the help that you need. So mm -hmm. at home, if you have a partner, asking not just for logistical help like, honey, can you please get me a bagel, right. <laughs> but also emotional things. You might have to say, honey, can you please once a day tell me that I'm a good mom? Because our partners need, they can't read our minds, they need to know no. what to do. And at work, it's really important, I think it's incredibly important that women feel like they can ask for what they need in terms of flexibility, and that is not possible in every single workplace, but to whatever degree you feel comfortable, if you mm -hmm. could take one more step beyond that, if we all did that simultaneously, it would shift the needle on, on workplace culture. Yeah, definitely. Let's talk about sleep deprivation. Yes. When I was in the thick of it, one mom said to me, there's a reason they use sleep deprivation as a torture method, because it, it really it really can mess you up. Yeah. There's a lot of times you, you can't get the sleep that, that you want, but you came up with a way just by using some conceal that makes it at least look like you got some sleep, which is what we really need. <laughs> right. So actually, so coffee is good, of course, but also concealer really is a, a new mom's best friend. Mm -hmm. um, the key is to put it not just under your eyes, but actually in the inner corner, um, which is where you can get kind of dark too. Right. The women who I interviewed, so I interviewed and surveyed more than 800 women, yeah. and they told me that they were sleeping a full night's sleep. Now, that's not the baby's full night's sleep. That's mom's. Right. So seven hours straight, eight hours straight at seven months old when yeah. the babies were that old. It takes is... a while. And you can see this is some makeup. You've basically, I mean, you, you work for Glamour Magazine. I'm assuming you've got all gazillions of products, but you've whittled down your makeup routine to about three minutes? One minute. What? Wait, wait, One whoa, minute. Whoa. 60 whoa. seconds. Wait, wait. Oh, no, no, I mean, okay, this, no, okay, okay, this took this five took minutes. Five. <laughs> that right. took, that really? took 60 seconds, that, yes. Wow, that's with just a little bit of concealer. And you said the number one thing is to curl your eyelashes, yes. which I thought was interesting. You've had so many experts say that's, don't, yeah. That's the one thing not to skip. The one thing. So if you can, you want to emphasize structure more than a lot of products. You want to take really good care of your skin, wash your makeup off at the end of the day. But yes, curling your lashes opens up your eyes. Also, you say get a new wardrobe. Even though your body's not going to stay the same, it's going to make you feel so much better when you yeah. go back to work, even if it's just a few key items, a key right. pieces that you can kind of shift, shift in and out. It doesn't even need to be a lot. It can be six pieces. It can be, it can be all neutrals if you want, blacks and navies, whatever you feel comfortable in. If you want to make a big fashion statement, lean on your accessories. Use you your go. bags, which still fits, your jewelry <laughs> exactly. still fits, and really make that the focal point. When in doubt, a jacket solves it all, you said as yes. well. So that's something to look for. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by and giving us uh, some of these tips. The book is called The Fifth Trimester. We'll put a link on our website, fox4news.com. Thanks Thank so you. much.